Next up, say a man with a big heart and a golden voice, a guy I've always had a lot of respect for, Ernie Johnson Jr. Let's watch the video. No, please sit down. Uh, oh, this is such a cool weekend. I'm so honored to be here. Um, you saw that picture of the Georgia baseball team back in 1975, where I walked on as a freshman and was told to walk off as a sophomore. <laughs> Tex, Tex, you're laughing at that, but look, you go two for 18 as a freshman with one career RBI, not a real good chance you'll be back for your sophomore season. That one career RBI coming at the University of Tennessee on a Thursday afternoon, 428 Eastern Time. <laughs> Temperature 67 degrees, partly cloudy skies, but that's all I remember of it. <laughs> Dang, this is a great night. Toughest thing in the world is to, is to make a speech that lasts three minutes, at least it is for me. Um, and to happen here in Macon where I got my first TV job. And uh, you know what I did this morning? I drove around Macon. And I drove past Channel 13 where I had my first job, where I was the news anchor, where, uh, where the sports anchor at that time was a guy named George Jobin, who took this, yeah, who took this, uh, this recent college grad out of the University of Georgia. And, uh, and on my first Thanksgiving away from home said, no, you're having dinner with, with me and Kay. You don't forget stuff like that. And you don't forget the bank right down the road. Back, back in the day, it was the CNS bank. Thank you for the mm-hmms because you remember that. where I met my future wife. Cheryl DeLuca was a student at Mercer University, working two jobs to work her way through school. One of those jobs was the drive-in teller at the CNS Bank where I took my check every week. And, and it was a really bad check. And that, that, that's not saying anything about Channel 13, but when you're, when you're fresh out of college and you'll work for nothing, that's basically what they'll give you. So, had no idea, had no idea that uh, that when I met this woman through six inches of bulletproof glass that she'd be my wife for 36 years now. And, and, that, and that we would have this wonderful ride and we'd have these great kids and Maggie and Eric, um, my, my oldest son and my oldest daughter are here and they've each got one of their kids here. Uh, and Katie's here and Everett's here and it's awesome. And, I, and we've got Michael, and we've got Carmen, and we've got Ashley and Allison, and my wife Cheryl can't be here. Uh, she's home with Michael because he requires 24-hour care, and, and so she can't be here for this. But my kids are here, and it means the world. Um, I never thought I'd be a Turner for 30 years. Uh, Mark Carmony who represents me with career sports and entertainment is here. His wife, Tracy, is here. It means the world. My mom can't be here tonight. She's 90. She's, uh, as I described her in the book, she's Betty White on steroids. <laughs> but she wanted to be here to see this. She was here, obviously, as my whole family was when my dad got inducted nine years ago. And to... Uh, to join my dad on this team is beyond words. But let me just say this as I close. Look, this is, if we all get some place through encouragement, I think, and I speak for all the class of eight, and it's such an honor to be here with this entire class, but, you know, we don't get here without encouragement. We don't get here with people who have impacted us and tell us to keep going 
and they encourage us all the way. And my mom and dad did that. And I tell a true story here as I close. Because um, when I was anchoring the news here in Macon, my mom and dad were on the way home from spring training in Florida. They were driving, as they always did. And they got down around Warner Robins, and it was about 6 o'clock at night. And it was time for 13 News at 6 to come on, and I was going to be anchoring that news. You know, it was like a 25-year-old who looked like he was 12, but people watched anyway. You know, and so my mom and dad saw this opportunity. Well, let's stop here in Warner Robins. Let's watch the news. You start that music now, you're going to kill the punchline, and these folks are going to, these folks are going to be pissed, and they're going to say, hey, you know what? My life is unfulfilled because I didn't hear the punchline to the story, but here it is. My dad, Ernie Sr., and my mom, Lois, walk into the hotel in Warner Robins just before 6 o'clock, and my dad says to the guy at the desk, I need a room for a half an hour. And, and my dad said, really, really, it's just to watch the news. And the guy says, all right, Ernie, thank y'all.